What's up? Back at it again. I'm on a roll today, so I am going to be sharing my lovely message with you. Um, I just had a video that I had talked about um, just a little bit of what really goes on in our everyday world and what we are, um, you know, reminded of, unfortunately, with depression and suicide and, and just many things in our reality. But I wanted to share this uplifting and loving message with you um, in regards to what I do on an everyday basis. What does my holistic life day look like? So as a holistic life coach, as a, just a typical normal everyday person, I truly believe in starting my day out with a positive thought, an affirmation or a quote whatever they, um, whatever moves me in my mantra. And, um, you know, I sit in bed and I kind of take 30 minutes to myself and some time. Um, you know, I have some roses that are beautifully laying by my bed and they smell so amazing. So that also helps. And I also just create a positive thought. I don't think about you know, oh my God, I don't want to get up and go to work, uh, you know, the people that I want to deal with, I don't even get into um, that cycle or train of thought. And, um, you know, I get up, I make my lovely tea, I burn my incense, and I start feeding my spirit, I start feeding my soul, I start creating that love, that protection, that light, and that energy for myself to go into my day protected. And so it's really, really important um, to me. And then obviously I have a wonderful, lovely little dog. And so I take him out and I just, you know, I don't care if it's warm outside or if it's cold. I really just take that time to breathe in that air, to look at all the greenery that I have around me. And yes, I do have some greenery around me, even though I live in the desert. And... Um, I just take advantage of all the blessings and being grateful for what I do have. Um, I just truly, it allows me to live more in my um, love and my glory. And, um, and then I light my candles sometimes and I put on my meditation music and just sending that good love and light in the universe and knowing that, um, you know, especially while I am manifesting uh, good things to me, you as well want to create and have that bubble of manifestation for yourself and the things that you want in good, um, in good causes and with work, with finances, um, just kind of like I spoke about in my other two videos ago. And so it's really, truly important. No, you cannot control the negativity. No, you can't control the um, thoughts of others or their actions. And, um, you know, and sometimes you find yourself kind of stuck in the mud. But you don't have to be there. Lotuses grew, um, they grow out from that deep soil and out of the mud. And they are beautiful, beautiful flowers. And so I am just wanting to remind you that in your day, whether you're at the gym, whether you're jogging, running, yoga, um, you know, working on your cars or painting, having a glass of wine, just sit and be thankful. Be silent and say to yourself, whatever it is, again, use your words wisely, choose them because they are the power that is speaking um, that energy out into the world for you. So choose that those powerful, amazing words to love yourself and to show and to shine uh, divine energy on you, okay? And no, my life is not freaking, you know, um, peaches and cream every single minute of my day. I have frustrations. I obviously, you know, I'm still with corporate America right now. And so I'm transitioning into being full-time life coach so that way I can get out there and do more humanitarian work and reach more souls, reach more people, and be a full-time advocate. 
So um, figure out what your purpose is. And if you don't know, don't put pressure on yourself. It's okay. Ask your angels. Ask your guides. Um, they are there for that guidance and that help in every part of your life, each and every single day. And if you've got a cuss, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, say what the fuck and keep it moving on. Um, you know, I'm not the person to act like I'm holier than thou. I, I'm just not. But I definitely try to walk in a more graceful way, in a happier way, and I try to find the funny things that are in my day to say, you know what, I want to go volunteer. You know, it's my time to give. I need to spend more time out in nature. I need to take a vacation, even if it is just a Friday to Sunday getaway or if it's a week long, or if I need to just make that financial sacrifice and to go and to um, see the world, then I will. Hey, guess what? It's my life, it's my money, it's my time, and it's the same for you. So make that decision. Don't sit there and be jealous. You know, don't sit there and say, oh, I'm so jealous that, you know, what? That you're not taking advantage of life that all of the time and the efforts that you choose are, you know, you're not planning properly or you don't want to go and just take the risk, take the risk. Because guess what? You're the only one that's going to be dealing with, oh, I should have did this and I should have did that. You know, go pick up a book, go read, um, you know, your book, join some seminars, join amazing organizations. That's what I did. Um, as soon as I got here, Back to Arizona two years ago from San Francisco, I, you know, talked to my mentor, and I was like, you know, what is the next step in my life? I finished grad school. What the heck should I be doing? And she was like, you know what? Join some amazing women's organization. So I joined the Junior League. Shout out to my Junior League girls. And, um, you know, and then I joined, um, well, I started working at the Children's Hospital for a couple of months and found myself, you know, wanting to get out of that and just solely focus my passions um, outside of work. And so outside of work, I sit on two committees, beach ball committee and uh, for the Children's Hospital and the Emerging Leaders Group as well helping to continue to raise funds for the Children's Hospital and the needs that are within. So look at where your passions are, what you want to be passionate about, or if you want to be a humanitarian or an advocate for animals, people's rights, children's rights. I mean, it's all whatever. It's all good. So it's just a few things that I wanted to share with you for now and continue to just be healthy inside and out. And, you know, instead of having that burger, maybe have the burger without the patty, put it on some salad. So that way you feel a little bit good about it, what you're doing. And um, if you want to have a side of fries, have a side of fries. But have some salad with, with your meal too. You know, have your shakes in the morning. Um, I typically do. I have my Herbalife cookies and cream shake because I love it. It's truly addicted. And, um, and then I have my Aloha Detox drinks as well in there and my foundational supplement. It's so important, okay? You can't be falling apart internally if you're not taking, you know, care of yourself. Um, Dolce wants to say hi. And um, he's saying that you got to love yourself, too, and send some love and light out into your day. So, bye, my soul stars. I'll be having more coming out to you. I got a huge, major, amazing announcement to make, and so I will be making that very soon. Sending our hearts out to you. <laughs> Bye.